All right, welcome to the social networking lecture. I'll be talking about getting friends, basically. Hey there, Syntax. How you feeling, my guy? To be honest, I'm chilling. Just ready to drop some knowledge. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so just drop some questions in the chat or, or lecture chat. I'll just answer some stuff right now until we start at uh, two, I think. Who are you? I am Syntax A. What will we learn? We're going to teach you how to network socially, basically get friends, meet new people, a bunch of stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to be talking so minimally because I got food right next to me and I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, should I forex at 16? I don't know if you... I think you need your parents to start you an account, but, like, there's no harm in, like, doing, like, there's paper trades so you can trade with not, like, not real money, but that's one way to do it if you want to, if you're interested in it. How to think of better questions? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> uh, that's funny. How to meditate as a beginner, that would be hashtag start meditating, but basically I'd recommend download the Medito app, it's free, just basically breathe, pay attention to your breath and like acknowledge your thoughts basically. Shouldn't Hamza be doing the lecture? I mean he does his own lectures on Twitch and some community members do their own lectures. So. What are you eating? I have rice and some kebabs, bro. Shit's gonna slap. How do you deal with people who disrespect you and are higher in hierarchy than you? Well, you gotta build yourself up to get to either equal to them or higher than them. And then, I mean, either way, you shouldn't tolerate disrespect. If you confront them about it, like they're saying shit, and you say like, wash your mouth, they probably aren't gonna respond to that because they're probably pussies how can i become ziz it's okay we're all gonna make it bro mm. how do i make the voices go away mindfulness bro yeah suave knows suave or suave How to not attach mistakes and fuck ups to self esteem. I think again, <laughs> meditation can do that for you because, um, you know, you can learn to not associate yourself with your thoughts. Disassociate. Why is this volume so quiet? Is it is that for everyone or is is that just you? Let me know. I can probably raise my output volume. It's fine. Word. Yeah, so Yusuf, if it's still like quiet for you, right click my name and then you should be able to uh, drag my audio up or down. Mm. Alright, we'll start in like 10 minutes. Should I leave my dad if I really want to? Because I mean, he's still my dad, I don't know what to do. It depends on your relationship with, with your family and how old you are. I can't really speak on your situation. How do you balance friends, family, dating with a packed daily routine? Hamza literally posted a video like a couple days ago, I'm pretty sure. On, on the exact topic. I've been growing my hair out for a year. Should I shave? Depends if you look good. If you look good, I mean, keep it though. What's a good age to get into a relationship? It's not really a specific age. I'd say that you should or shouldn't like go for it, but it kind of depends, you know? But I'd say don't start like super early because you can get yourself fucked up. So, you know. You can't really leave your dad if you're 15, man. If you don't have any money, I'm pretty sure it's kind of hard to kind of go anywhere. How old are you since I'm 17? 
how to raise social status at school? Well, there's quite a few ways, but if you're good at, like, a sport, you can join the team, you could, like, again, building so like, a as we're going to talk about social networking, you can, uh, like, get a lot of friends and usually people will recognize you. And just like that, you're of higher social status. This lecture is about social networking, bro. Yes, I am really 17, my friend. Uh, let's see. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How do I talk better with family and friends? Speak from the heart, bro. Already five people want to come on the stage. Word. Cabbage, I know. Oh, I'm going to get you up here first, probably, because I know you. Uh, I know you got the sauce, bro. How do I get a voice like you? It's great. Appreciate it, bro. I mean, it's all genetic, bro. You can't really change your voice. I mean, you can wait till you age, but we're in Canada, dude. I'm in Ontario. That's as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> Fuck up your vocal cord. <laughs> Can I join the stage to vibe? I don't have any... I mean, sure. Always down to get my boy Kamara up here. I invited you up. How to sound like Optimus Prime? Get a shitty mic. What's up, Syntax? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, bro. How about yourself? I'm just doing beautiful on a Sunday like this, you know. Uh, nice to hear, bro. We're about to kill it with a beautiful lecture today. Appreciate Let's get it, guys. It, bro. But yeah, no, to, to be honest, I'm probably going to... God damn, their vocal cords. Yeah, that's the exact reason why I came up here, not going to lie. <laughs> Adonis voice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just came to boost the lecture a little bit, so... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming, bro. Definitely going to answer some questions for, for some of the fellas in the chat, so... Sure. Yeah, Pacho, it's going to be on the the... What's it called? Uh, the cult lecture YouTube channel. Thanks for the thanks for the compliments, guys. <laughs> I'm getting a bit nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing, man. I'm blushing. Adonis, it's Adonis, guys. Adonis. Adonis always speaks from the heart and from the chest. No cap. Sounds like Larry Wheels, bro. <laughs> Larry Wheels. <laughs> That's funny. Larry wheels do be uh do be strong though. Bro bent like a a pan with his hands. It's crazy. Oh, he actually did that. That's sick. He deadlifted Thor's hammer once. I don't know if you saw that edit. Nah. It's a pretty sick edit. You yeah, might find it on YouTube. See it on YouTube side. later, but but yeah. Oh, what time is it? One fifty six. All right, four minutes, boys. I'm gonna start the lecture. I'm only gonna talk like for. 10 minutes max and then I'm, it's gonna be a lot of like i'm talking it's gonna be a lot more of, of the cult members speaking up here damn it's 8 56 p.m here damn bro what's this lecture focused on social networking bro i mean uh, usually at four like people are like ready to sleep it's like 9 p.m in in uh in bst time so you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it a little bit earlier, but like I can't get too much earlier than 2 p.m. over here because I got stuff to do. Love that style of lecture. Yeah, good to know, bro. Because hopefully, I, I mean, I, like, it's good to build your social skills by just getting up on here. It takes quite a lot of confidence and it's a good leap of faith to take. Well, it's not even a leap of faith. It's like you're just, just coming up here and talking. Don't yeah, definitely want to get yourself out there. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. Uh, what's this? 157. Should I just start? I mean, is creatine or pre-workout better? I don't take pre-workout personally, but like you can do both to be honest. Creatine just increases water retention in the muscle, so like you yeah. look a little bit bigger. But creatine's great though. It kind of gives you a few reps for some exercises yeah, if you're definitely. trying to get that extra boost. 82 people yeah no 2 p.m is definitely in the time then because i think um everyone's in here or everyone's awake at least at this time syntax do you train your neck 
I do people train my neck, but not too frequently. Like, I, I have, like, a, a pretty big neck genetically, but I train I sometimes. But, yeah. When did the lecture start? I don't know. Let's check my OBS. Ten minutes ago. But we haven't really started. Any site slash applications you'd recommend for social presence? I mean, you could argue like the basic social media apps like like uh, like Instagram, Snap, but I don't know, bro. I, I mean, if you're really trying to build your social circle, it, it can be useful, but again, you have to be careful with it. You can't be like overusing it and using it for the wrong purposes. Train neck every day? No, sir. Do you train your wrist or forearm? Basically, I do sometimes. I've been I've been slacking on my forearm training because I just had my black belt testing and I was kind of tired from that but yeah alrighty one more minute and then it starts you do BJ BJJ no I do karate so yeah basically the testing was over seven hours hardest day of my life but you know still moving forward bro yeah this, this will still be recorded bro Okay. How to stop overthinking. Meditation. <laughs> How much muscle can I gain after three months of working out? Uh, anywhere from like three to six pounds usually. Yeah, the Colton, the whole uh, testing, it was 500 push-ups, a 5K run... A thousand jumping jacks, five hundred sit ups, uh seemed more than five hundred kicks, but like a, around five hundred kicks and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It was it was not fun. Yeah, that sounds very intense. I don't think I've done anything with that ferocity in my life. Yeah, I mean I never thought I would be able to like go through it, but honestly it's it's all in the mind. Like once you push past your breaking point or like the point where you are about to quit you push past that you can basically yep. go forever man yeah i mean mindset thing uh yusuf it was the physical and the actual like katas in the same day so it was quite quite strenuous but uh kamara i'm gonna put you back into the audience and we're gonna start quite cool right it was now. great talking to you man it have was a good great lecture talking to you as well All thank right. you for coming up here all right so basically i just want to just say this really quick i'm gonna be probably not doing any lecture lectures as frequently on topics such as uh social networking and like habits and like the basic self-improvement stuff because it's not my strong suit it's it's something i like but like it's not like something i'm the most knowledgeable in someone like miles or or uh, even, like, basically any other person probably has more knowledge in this uh, self-improvement category than me because, I, again, I haven't been doing it too long. So I'll probably be doing more fitness-oriented lectures and toning the amounts of lectures I do, toning down the amount of lectures I do on something like a topic like this. But that's just something I will pre preface the lecture with. But, all right, so how do you build social network so basically there's quite a few ways you can do this you can go about this through just talking to people through sports through events through many things but basically uh there are three big things that you can do you can do uh like you can host or go to live events uh meetups like concerts and things and like the power about this is look you go to a party you're having fun you're in a social flow state you go and you're talking to people, right? That's probably the best way to like increase your social circle you by going up to people and ask it, like just asking them questions and stuff and just like getting their Instagrams. And by that, you can invite them to events and kind of get into their social circle. And then obviously, if you go to a party with quite a few people, you get into like four, even four people's or even like one or two people's social circles. That's like what twenty people that you're already in um in a group with. So like again, live events. So basically, hosting events, going to parties, to 
just any any type of event that you know a lot of people will be at and just conversating and that ties into increasing your social skills right so by increasing your social skills by talking to people and just doing things like hosting these lectures right increasing your social skills will help you uh ask the better questions like be a better friend be a better listener and you'll be able to network a lot better the second way is you can engage with communities online such as this like discord is such a massive platform i wouldn't like i i've made like what 15 friends already just off of discord like and pretty decent friends on just on just this server like people i talk to quite regularly so by being an active member in the server contributing asking questions answering people's questions you can basically build a social circle on this discord you're building your tribe right so through discord you can just again you can just talk to people and now if like i'll take it into a school example because this is probably the one way that i built mine like the fastest like i'm in a specialized program so i basically have the same people in my classes for the um entire like for all four of my years so basically the only way i've been able to kind of like expand my social circle was by like okay i don't like to admit it but like when i used to play video games i used to be able to well actually that's, that's not anyway when i was playing video games i was in a social group and these people were friends with quite a few people around the school so basically you can go and talk to people and engage with people like from your video game usage if you still use video games and you can use that to uh like talk to more people uh metro if you want to add number three is uh collaborate with people often oh senpai must come so working out you good bro uh well so like what probably the big like other than just connecting with people and like getting into other people's social groups like on the first day of school you're going to want to talk to people initiate conversations get their instagrams invite them to events like if you're inviting uh, or if you like meet someone on the first day of school or something and you invite them to an event you're going to be able to become friends with them they're going to invite you to events you're going to meet their friends again this is kind of like infiltrating other people's social circles and that's kind of one way to socially network but again you need to be able to have really great social skills and be like a magnetic person so that people are attracted to you and want to be your friend that's that's uh very important there but like the other way that I was able to build my social circle is just by the fact that I love like like going through specific hobbies. It can be video games, although again I, I don't really recommend video games, but you know teach their own. But through video games, I got a lot of friends through something uh, like some sports. So basically, joining teams, joining clubs. Doing stuff like that will get you recognized around the school. People will know you. People will like, like know who you are and want to be your friend. That's just my two cents right now. Um, again, I, I told you I'd keep it nice and simple. And now we'll get some people up here uh, just to talk because I'm trying to eat some food. No cap. But yeah, I'm going to definitely be reducing the amounts of uh, lectures I do on this these types of topics. But Cabbage, welcome to the stage. Hey there, my guy. How you Hope doing, you're doing great today. I am, man. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Yeah, I kind of agree with what you're talking about, like uh, toning this down. Like I've already done, I think I've done like one or two of these uh, on social skills already. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like beaten to death, especially on the channel. Uh, Ams' channel, but... Yeah, no, there's some stuff to say here. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of different people in the audience, like, than last time. I see, like, Colton, Victor, you know, usual people. Um, but, yeah, for you guys that maybe are new to this, um, I have some experience. So, like, I, I don't know, I feel like, um, like, like, building on what Syntax said, like, I, Say you're like in the first day of school or a lot of people are like in the maybe a month into school, a couple of weeks into school, and you don't really know too many people. And what I recommend you to do is initiate conversation with strangers. 
because most people you're not going to know, you know, you might know them from like your old school or if you're going into high school, um, but you don't even know a lot of people, like there's thousands of people at your school. Um, and, you know, a lot of this is scary. It's uncomfortable, um, but overcoming it, like you feel more confident after like you kind of, it's just like exercise, you know, you might kind of dread doing it beforehand, but afterwards you feel kind of like you feel really, really good. So it's kind of like overcoming your fear, your li what you think is your limits. It's more like the philosophical aspect, but um, yeah, you can start conversations with strangers. It's really all the same stuff, uh, you know, invite people to do stuff. What are you saying about like joining, getting like hobbies, right? Like, uh, yeah, video games. Yeah, I made lots of friends through video games too, you know, especially on Discord and people kind of like in my local area. So I know what you mean by that. That works pretty well. Um, I think joining clubs to like, if they're, I don't know, if you're, if you like to draw, you know, you might join like an art club or do the art class and you can make a lot of friends through there. Uh, you know, you can, you can find like the, um, I don't know, like sports too. Like for me, I've been making a lot of friends with people, but I noticed most, like, I haven't really found anyone in my school that's really into uh, self-improvement, you know, and I'm, uh, you know, I, I met some of the sports guys and I kind of vibe with them more. I like, like their attitudes. So I kind of do think that, you know, like the common interests are really important. Um, for like, you can, um, be friends with these people. Like, I guess since starting this, like being in this, uh, server and learning from like Hamza, I felt kind of like, uh, I don't really fit in with like regular people anymore. Like when they talk about like shows and anime and playing games and we don't really have like the same interests so what i recommend you to do if you're having like a similar problem is to go and find people that are in the same kind of mind mindset on the same kind of path like somebody who really who's really into sports and they kind of understand that you need hard work to improve like that um that if people have been through it you know um yeah i recommend to listening skills are really important like most of a conversation i'd well, no i don't want to make a blanket statement but i feel it's more important to let somebody else talk to let the other person talk about themselves than it is for you to talk about your, yourself because it makes people like you more like encourage those people to ask like ask them open ended questions and encourage them to talk about themselves um you know they're going to appreciate they feel listened to it makes somebody feel important and that's really important for like human connection and feeling fulfilled so that person is going to like you a lot more because you made them feel important so i'd say like a key skill like a little meta skill within social skills is learning to ask open-ended questions um trying to be more creative with your questions and encouraging them to talk about themselves open-ended questions is really important too because I find myself, you know, I find myself when I was, uh, I still do this sometimes, like asking it, like a question that you know is a yes or no, and it just makes it harder to speak to the other person. It makes it harder for them to be creative in the conversation. So, yeah, so ask open-ended questions, encourage people to talk about themselves, be curious about other people, mm. initiate conversation with strangers, and let me see. Um, examples of open-ended questions. Okay, wait. Uh, so yeah, I'd say. I don't know. You could say like, like, oh, what are you into? Or no, let me think. Like, dude, ask something like, "How's your summer going?" Like, or, like, what do you think about, or what do you feel about, like, something? You know. Yeah. Yeah, like and um. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's, yeah, I've kind of been having a hard time with this one myself, so I'm trying to uh, work on that one, like asking good questions. Um, but yeah, open-ended questions would be like, yeah, like why, why did you, I don't know, why did you do this? Uh, how do you, what do you feel about such and such, like that kind of stuff? Um, and yeah, let me see what, oh, uh, okay, so one thing i've exp been experiencing myself um is that like uh not all people really want to talk like 
sometimes you'll find, uh, you know, you're trying to start a conversation with somebody, but you know, you mostly get one word answers or they'll, uh, you'll ask a question, they'll answer and then a couple sentences and then they'll stop talking and the conversation kind of dies there. Um, this could be, you know, my own fault from asking bad questions, like asking, uh, like, yes or no, like kind of closed questions. So open ended questions can help with that, but uh, not all the like, I feel like not all the time people are going to open up uh, most time. Like for me, most times they won't, it seems like so. And that's okay. Because the people who do open up, like you can like connect with a lot more when you're, you kind of give off like your own vibe, you know? Uh, like, don't try to change so much to uh, appeal to other people. Yeah, I don't know what, what else to say here. I feel like I've said a lot about this already. But yeah, hope that helps you guys. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there anything uh, else you want to add to the syntax? Oh, uh, well, yeah, no, being like actually interested in the person you're talking to is is very important like if you're just asking like single like questions like like how are you doing and they're they're just probably going to respond with good because they don't know you like they're not going to respond with like oh blah like you know they're not going to give you more than like a couple words in response so make sure you're being genuinely interested in the person you're talking to because otherwise they're not really going to care like if if you're just talking about yourself or you're asking bad questions you're not getting anywhere so that's all i have to really add add to that yeah yeah i think that's good there yeah uh, i want to listen to other people talk about this now uh yeah. do you need me yeah. to move you back to the audience or are you good yeah, sure. All right. All right. Thanks for having me up here, bro. No problem. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Well, yeah, as Colton is saying, read How to Win Friends and Influence People because that book has so many things that can help you be a more social person. But this uh, this subject is so dead, bro. We've, we've had like, what, like two or three lectures on this topic already. It's going to be like... Uh, it's kind of hard to add in any like new information onto this, but I can also say that just being kind to the people you're speaking to, not being disrespectful, um, can also help out because nobody wants to talk to someone who is, who is being disrespectful. So be kind to people you talk to, try not to get disrespectful, even if they're, uh, being like weird, you know what I'm saying? I wish the lectures were updated into a podcast. Oh, yeah, th I mean, I could actually make a podcast if you guys would be interested into that, but I, it'd be probably um, more based on to topics like fitness, because those are what I'm most, they're, that's what I'm most knowledgeable on. Victory, up, the bro? people wanted you up here, so I invited you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna like speed run this quickly, because I have a, actually have a flight in like nine hours, so I want to get some rest in very quickly, so I'm just gonna like. I'm going to talk through, like, what's the topic? Social networking, right? So pretty much this is, this is how it's going to work. You want to present yourself. Like, you're, like think, of your, think of yourself as a product, right? Like, you want to make yourself not bland. You want to be vibrant. You want to have an influence on people. You want to be memorable. You want to stand out from the crowd, pretty much. So, like, I'm going to use myself as an anecdote, right? So, pretty much, I'm moving to the UK to a university where I'm pretty much not going to know anybody, right? So, this is pretty much what I have to do. Like, I have to approach people. Like, I have, I shouldn't be scared to, like, make an approach on people. You have to engage in meaningful conversations that aren't too bland, that aren't too, like, that aren't going to rub the person off the wrong way. Like, you want to make a positive impact on that person. So they'll feel more inclined to talk to you. So pretty much what I could do and what other people could do in scenarios like this, you want to make yourself like you want to be interesting, like you want to have habit, like you want to have hobbies, things that will make you stand out, things that will make comfort, make you make your conversations a lot more easier, right? 
So you want to have a lot, you want to like do a lot of things. You don't want to be like a bland person. Just You don't want to be like just, oh, I'm just a self-improvement guy. Like obviously you can talk about these things. Like it's, people might be very interested in them. Some people might not be, but like not everyone's going to like give you a warm reception when you go off about self-improvement. But like you can say, this is what I do. And people like will maybe be interested in those things. But when it comes to the other end, when you're listening to a person, you want to, you want to have good body posture. You want to have shoulders up, make eye contact, nod in response. Don't like say the generic "aha" uh-huh every single time you're giving a response, right? You want to make sure that you're getting, that you're like involving yourself, engaging yourself in like a meaningful, meaningful conversation. So you don't, so the person you're talking to doesn't feel like, oh, you're just there. You're just like not listening. You're not attentive. Like you want to be able to know what they're saying. So if they ask you like a question, like you know how to respond to said question. So obviously it's a lot about like just making different friend groups. You pretty much want to like socialize with everyone. Just don't like fit into one category. Like for me, I was friends with like pretty much everyone in my high school. Like I was friends with all the cool kids, well quote unquote cool kids. I was friends with like all the emos. I was friends with pretty much everyone. I was just a relatable, talkable guy. Or, like talkative guy, like somewhat, like you don't want to be too talk. You don't want to like talk too much or you'll tend to rub, rub people off the wrong way. Like you want to make yourself, like you want other people to like be able to talk to you. And so they don't feel you're just hogging the spotlight. You should, you should just try to talk to everyone. Be polite. Don't, don't rush into things. Like don't ask too many questions because people can just, get burnt out by that pretty much you want to you just want to be like calm gentle relaxed don't be jittery don't like don't be too like hyperactive about it just want to play it casual and smooth and then that's pretty much like my how i'd say that that's the way you should like approach the pop and when it goes on to like making more and more friends like you should like what uh syntax and cabbage were saying like you should like set things up you should like have social events which are like very important because it's like it's taking you into an, another environment where like pretty much you you're pretty much for, forced to converse right like you don't like it's not there's not going to be any dead air when you're talking with another person so you're going to be pretty much forced into the into conversing with another person and this is a good thing because you want to talk you don't want you don't necessarily want there to just be dead air, just like waiting for time. Like, you know, that awkward feeling you get when you're just in an elevator with another person. You don't want that. So you want the conversation to go on smoothly, you want it to go well. And yeah, hopefully that's what I said helps. Facts. I mean, one thing I can also add is your body language should be, or is, is really crucial in, in conversations. Because if you're, reserved or like hugging yourself and you're like closed off people aren't really going to want to share with you so be relaxed yeah. and open don't be like like super like scared of the other person to the point where you're like basically turning away from them Give yeah. them eye you pretty much you pretty much want to be presentable you don't want to like come off as intimidating like you're not going to like rub, like make the person not feel like they won't be able to like express themselves. They just give you like generic responses, or they're just like, or they feel like scared of, scared of you, or they don't feel like comfortable around you. You won't really be able to get much out of them. Exactly. I mean, yeah. No. So yeah, that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna like wrap it up now because I pretty much like I have to go to the shops after like finish packing my luggage or do stuff like that. So yeah, I'll talk to you all later, and thank you, Cynthia, as well hosting this well. always dropping knowledge up here i appreciate you bro uh you need me to move you back or you good uh yeah yeah i'll, I'll talk to you next time got you got you yeah and i see a lot of people asking about eye contact i mean yeah you want to be looking at them in the eyes you do like if you're staring off to the corner of the room nobody's gonna want to talk to you right like you're, you're not engaging with the other person look them in their eyes but obviously don't like stare them into their soul you know like there's um there is like a boundary to this uh jonah honestly just just join the stage right now if you want to 
come up here because I'm gonna invite someone anyway. So, welcome, welcome. You hear me? Yeah, we can. How you doing, bro? I thought it was funny. Apparently, Maximus gives me the power to automatically join the lecture stage. Oh, you you have the event organizer role. I think that's why. Oh, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Um, yeah, I just I just wanted to share one thing. Um, like if you live in a Western country, and you're like in high school or college, uh. I think I would say Snapchat is like a necessity for building your social circle. At least in my experience, once I kind of got active on on that social media platform, like my social life blew up. I knew all the current events that were happening. We knew where parties were going on, who's doing what, who's where. It just it made it so much easier to like get in the know and know what's happening and who's doing what. I haven't deleted right now just because I'm focusing on other things, but that's something that I found like really changed my social life facts i mean yeah social media is a tool to use but you gotta be cautious with it it can be oh, like, yeah. a great way to network and find new people but at the same time it's a double-edged sword and it can spiral into a instant gratification like slope so you gotta be careful how you use it though yeah, definitely. And like I've experienced both extremes of those. Like I've experienced like the the benefits and the negatives. Um, but yeah, if you're able to use it the right way, it can it can be so powerful. Facts. How you doing, Miles? Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? This How's is fucking all? sick. This is fucking sick. Oh, it's 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 great. You got you got fucking eighty two people in here. This is this is sick, yes, sir. dude. Everyone here talking about social networking. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, yo, what is up, everyone? So, uh, Ben, I don't want to cut you off. Are you still talking? No, no, no. Nah, nah. What do you have to say? Um, social networking, boys. I just got to college, and I was nervous about meeting people, but you know, the mindset to have towards meeting people and just like networking yourself, whether that's for girls or fucking meeting friends, whatever, is just throw yourself into the discomfort. You realize that everyone out here. And really everyone in life, especially if you're like fucking under 20, like I am, if you're in like high school, I, high school is a fucking awkward time. Just realize that everyone else has the same mindset as you. Everyone is thinking, hey, like, how can I meet new people? And once you once you have the mindset and once you have that realization that everyone's thinking the same way you are, you can elevate yourself. You can be like, okay, like I'm going to go into a new situation. And I assume this like pretty girl that's like standing here on her phone, she's feeling nervous and just awkward as fuck. She wants some guy to like fucking approach her and just start talking to her. And I've realized through like, I've been here like a week now. It is like that. Um, in college, it is, it's like, you just go up to people, introduce yourself, be nice to them, act interested, act interested, be interested and be yourself. Like I've met like so many fucking people so far and I've pretty much faked it until I make it. Like, like I'm nervous as fuck going up to people, talking to them. Like I got cool roommates, like fake it till you make it boys and, and, and you'll meet people. Don't overthink it. Don't don't think that people don't want you to approach them. Um, if you're nice and you can you can bring something to the table and just maybe give someone a compliment, say like, hey, you got nice shoes, something like that. It's easy to go up to people and just start networking. So that's my two cents on networking. I uh, thought I'd just stop by in here and say what's up. But uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're if you're trying to network for like money and like business stuff, um, definitely look presentable. Um, clothes are usually the first thing people notice in the business world, at least in my opinion. Um, you want to dress good, feel good, look good. And yeah, carry yourself in a way with confidence. You want to have charisma. Pretty much all the self-improvement shit. If you're trying to network and meet people, stay in your self-improvement grind. Fucking meditate, do your shit, journal. And yeah, you'll, you'll meet new people and you'll find that people come up to you so you don't have to think about this stuff. So yeah. That those are my two cents. I'm gonna dip, but syntax is fucking sick, bro. Keep keep holding these. Love, bro. Yeah. All right, boys. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for joining, Miles. Like his advice is always a one. Always appreciate it. And yeah, no faking it till you make it, man. Like everyone is around you usually is in their own head overthinking. So if you're that one person that's going up to them, and and talking to them, you know that's. Every, like literally everyone's everyone's in their own head everyone wants to be talked to but yeah i was seeing a few 
Uh, comments about being intimidated. How do I stop being intimidated? Well, look, why are you in, why do you fear the other person? As as Kamara's saying, it, again, it can be physical or social. So if someone is is bigger than you, then work out. If it's like I don't I don't really understand social intimidation to be honest. And I think Kamara could probably give some better advice on that but again if if it's a physical intimidation do you really think they're gonna like like beat you up for no reason like i I don't understand that but that's all i have to say on that but yeah oh let's see who wants to come talk let's get nahayan (laughs) neha i invited you up nah nahi and parosh parosh um sorry for butchering your name but what's up? Hello, I'm Bangladesh. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm Asian. I'm good, man. I'm, I'm a, a teenager. I'm uh, 16 years old. And I to, I'm keep improving myself. Just I heard about NoFab. And I'm on my NoFab journey. Today is my day six. And I think I can... Go over 30 days and I'm trying. I am just keep avoiding uh, some shits. Uh, I mean, porn hub, like you know well. And so, uh, I have to give some tips from my journey to everyone. Just start no fab, uh, take seven to eight hours sleep, work out every day. Work out every single day. Don't make excuse, guys. Work out is make you attractive, handsome. It builds your confidence. I know the Hamza says that uh, past days, but I want to remember these things again. Uh, you guys are. Uh, uh don't know but uh, i am i can uh, uh, say english properly i am just learning it uh, to how to uh, properly speak english and i'm keep improving myself also med- meditation meditation is very important i think uh, it removes stress from our mind uh, teenagers nowadays are very uh, stress uh, have very stress so try to meditate yourself uh, take five minutes in your timer and start breathing and out your breath and and uh, take cold showers cold shower is very good for your health uh, it removes stress uh, it uh, gives a glow to your body and face are you guys hearing? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, uh, is my uh, knowledge is good for you guys? Uh, what you say? Bro, your English is amazing, man. Thank you so much. And uh, that's yeah. to improve my English again. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you you guys uh, are so good, man. Uh, uh, this is my first time. I'm I'm uh, speaking in public like uh, 73 people in front, uh, uh, and that's a very big challenge for me because I can't uh, speak. Uh, uh, I don't have enough confidence. Just I'm trying to build confidence. Uh, I have very. Uh, I'm very. Uh, shy guy and you can see my profile picture i'm i'm improving my body uh, i was very skinny uh, three uh, two years ago you can uh, and now people are just uh, um, complimenting about my body because i got a heavy jawline and i got a uh, aesthetic body you can tell lean body i think and I'm very happy with my uh, improvement and I'm 
keep grinding and hamza is a very good youtuber and he helps me a lot and you guys are very uh, good because you guys are also improving yourself and and uh, what what i tell so i want to get some tips from you guys uh your name is syntax syntax right yes it is uh where are you from bro i'm from canada bro wow that's nice you don't know but uh, me and my big brother wants to uh move down canada because uh, canada is a very good place for uh people because canada has a good a great beauty and i don't i, I like very europe uh, i don't like uh, asian uh, <laughs> you know i don't like asians but i am asian asian uh, i i just want to move down canada canada is a very beautiful place and there is a lot of uh, place where i can uh, go and take some beautiful uh, memories and i want to settle in canada just time improving my study and i am working for it to get a, a student visa for canada and that's my goal and also uh uh nothing nothing <laughs> okay so uh, a girl is staring at me from a few days so she didn't uh, want to talk with me but uh, uh, whenever i uh, go to the roof uh, she is uh, staring at me and she is just staring at me but uh, she didn't talk with me so uh, i am just avoiding uh, her because uh, she uh, don't want to talk with me so Uh, is that the thing i am doing right if what she's staring at you I... you should go talk to her bro oh okay thanks he man to, uh i'm very scared that how oh, what he how she is going to tell me and uh, man you're speaking in front of 76 people if you can speak up here and your second or this is your second language i presume bro you can do it thanks man thanks for your uh, tips and what i say to so what i uh, should tell her a uh, hello or something can, can you please help me uh, um kamara i'm calling up you bro but um what i can say is just go up to her as like just talk to her just just don't overthink it it's it's just another human being man speak from the yeah. heart If if you want to compliment her, compliment her. Okay, okay, man. Like uh, I'm going to her and say you are beautiful. What's your name, right? Hey, man. If if I, that that could work, yeah. Compliment her. Compliment something you like about her. Like if she okay, has man. nice hair, or is wearing a nice outfit. You know, just compliment her. Oh, okay. Well, well. Thanks. Of course, bro. So. Oh. Uh, so i am you guys uh, are interested in a football match about brazil versus argentina <laughs> uh, funny yeah that's funny because uh, we asians are very uh, uh, interested in football i don't know canada uh, doesn't interest uh, you guys uh, can Canadian doesn't. Uh, okay, just about this. So, seventy-two people is hearing my sound. So I want to give uh, more tips to you guys. Uh, don't uh, don't ruin your day. Uh, we wait. Uh, I mean, just use less social media because uh, it. Uh, it makes us weak okay uh, you can uh, 
replace your video games if you play video games that makes you weak it really makes you weak so replace your uh, video games uh, to work out and if you want to build aesthetic body hamza always told you guys uh, do resistant training i mean grab uh, grab a dumbbell grab some dumbbell and work hard okay so i prefer you guys to work out in morning because uh, morning uh, when you wake up in morning you have a higher testosterone level and i don't know you guys uh, feel like you don't have energy to work out in morning but trust me if you don't eat anything just drink some water and you if you go to the gym or go to your uh, home uh, go to your place where you work out uh, you can get more energy because uh, i have seen uh, uh, i have seen this uh, result because when, whenever i am going to work out in morning without taking uh, any food any kind of food uh, i can do about 15 plus pull ups but when i eat something in the morning and i go to, uh, go through the um, workout uh, i cannot uh, uh, perform uh, about 15 pull ups i can perform about 12 pull ups so that's the result uh, i got uh, that's the change i have seen that's why i am telling you guys and i have a youtube channel little youtube channel i am trying to make fitness videos like chest how to make chest how to make shoulder etc uh, you guys can uh, subscribe to me uh, because uh, uh, i need to uh, i need i i need your support and i am not uh, i am not uploading videos right now because i have a exam uh, about uh, i have exam is very soon so i am just uh, uh, stop uh, uploading videos on youtube but uh, you guys are welcome to my youtube channel you can check it out okay so i think i am wasting uh, much time here i have uh, i can uh, uh, see you uh, talk to you guys later okay or uh, syntax you do you want to something from me oh, what was that i didn't hear you uh i uh okay so let me tell you something guys uh i need some friends to speak with him in english because i am to improve my english and i i got to know it uh, uh, i got to know it that uh, if you want to improve your english you should talk to the guy who speak english so that's very uh, benefit uh, if i talk to english to it any guy you can call me whenever you guys want i want to uh, improve my english spoken english uh, i am from bangladesh and my first language is bengali bangla okay bangla uh, so bangla language has lots of uh, bangla language is very beautiful language and, and you can uh, learn bangla from me like uh, uh, and uh, uh, my my country name is bangladesh like uh, in bangla amar desher naam bangladesh okay yeah, did you guys uh, learn a new it's bangla i mean if i uh, tell uh, you in english that i love you it it will be in bangla that ami tomake bhalobashi ami tomake bhalobashi and that's it uh, it's very uh, tough uh, to uh, speak in bangla because it's your first time i think uh, but and that's the same experience i have because uh, english is not uh, uh, a thing a second language in our country so people always speak in bangla they didn't care about english too much but uh, uh, my plan is uh, to go abroad so i have to make a good ilts score 
that's why i can came to europe like london or canada then vancouver toronto etc i have a dream to study in abroad like canada or london uk i, I mean uk yeah, and i mean i will i hope i can do it yeah um, no, definitely um, can bro yes man you you can you can definitely come out here you can you just got to work hard bro yeah that's what i need to do <laughs> hey but look uh, i don't mean to cut you off but i want to get some other people up here one thing i can say okay. is is um definitely join the cult cuz in the full cult there is a a uh, voice channel that you can come and join and you can talk to people so yeah oh uh, thanks man thanks for your advice and uh, i don't know uh, i don't know that but here you tell me i will come over there and thanks yeah no thanks problem. everyone thank you for coming up you guys and thanks man you guys are listening to me that's a very uh, huge uh, gi- uh, huge uh, gift for me i think uh, I will join again. Goodbye. Thank you. Work hard. Us. Keep grinding. All right, bro. Can we get some Adonises, bro? Come on. Adonises in the chat, bro. Come on. This guy is actually sick. Like getting up here for the first time and just just speaking, bro, in a second language to a bunch of people. Like that's that takes a lot of confidence, bro. That's respect, man. A lot of respect to you, but yeah, as uh, someone else pointed out in the chat, man, uh, hashtag join the or I don't remember the actual hashtag, but just join the cult, bro. There's a a voice chat that can help you, like speak to other people, and we'd love to hear you talk more, man. But we will get uh, Creator J up on the stage next. Yeah, hashtag become cult member. Uh, Jay, I invited you. So if you want to come up, come up here and talk. What's ah, good? What's good? Hello. What is good? Everything all right? Yes, sir. How about yourself? How are you doing? I'm actually doing quite good. Um, yesterday I was actually approached by Max ninety eight or eighty nine. From my perspective, he helped a lot of other people. Um, with bulking up or going to the gym, etc. So, yeah, t- uh, last weekend he helped me set up a program for bulking and just going to the gym in general. And he really helped me because today was like the first day uh, I went in a long time to the gym and I felt absolutely amazing. I felt so confident for like just going to the gym for one hour. It wasn't really that long, actually. So, <laughs> yeah, English is not my first language, by the way. Legend. So, um, I'm from the Netherlands, yeah, such a smooth accent. Thank you. Um, what do I wanted to talk about? Yeah, well, just approaching girls in general, I do have some experience with it. But it's it just sometimes it's just scary for no reason at all, even though you know that it's not scary. It's it's always going to be a positive reaction from the girl itself. But uh, like last week, the, I had the introduction week and things did not go very smooth, only with the boys. But, you know, they were just very... But I would say immature because they were literally laughing about <laughs> that people. I it's, it's really like fucked up humor, don't you think? Hmm. Like seeing people die in like relatively funny ways. But I, yeah, it's really like fucked up. Um, I'm sixteen years old, and I'm really skinny. So that's why I'm trying to bulk up. Mm. Yeah, relatable. Yeah. Wait, who who are you talking about that uh, helped you? Is it is it a YouTuber or someone in the server? No, it's just someone in the server. I complimented him, 
and he complimented me back for saying I wanted to go to the gym and then he just suddenly out of nowhere he just said hey dude you want my help on uh, lifting routines and bulking routines etc so that was like absolutely helpful That's sick, bro. so that was like really nice hey well um do you have any anything to share about social networking or how to like just be more social in general um I, I, yeah, I probably do have one sort of advice is to always expect the best to come out of the conversation you're having. So if you see, for example, like some some guy sitting on his phone, just just randomly approach him and start talking about what you just did or what just happened to you or I don't know, just what you feel like uh, doing. Because I had some really good conversations by saying what just happened to me and then we just kept on talking for like an entire hour just um, sharing each other's experiences with different things and it was really nice just to connect with other people and being related more with their experiences which i sometimes like to know Uh, you have any other questions? Otherwise, I'm gonna get the next person on. Um. Yeah, I had to. No, I know, you know. Never mind. <laughs> hey, man. Nice talking. Thank you for coming up here, bro. No problem, dude. Cool, cool. Uh, how to find the first sentence approaching strangers? Just say hi, bro. It's not very complicated, man. You don't have to say a pickup line just to talk to someone. Say what's up. All right. I know Joe has been waiting quite a while to come up here, so we'll get him up. Yeah, what's hello. Up, How, How are you doing, doing man? I'm doing really good, thanks. How are you? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Yeah, so I've been waiting a while uh, to speak because I feel like it will improve me. And... Um, you know make me better socially but i've got a few tips from like because i actually used to be quite popular in school i used to be a class clown and uh some of the, the tips that i got were just you need to is that you just need to make jokes and come up to people and speak to them and even though eventually i, I started like went, went out of that phase and started to take school more seriously i started um this is when I was like 16, I'm 16 now, I was like 15 then, because I wanted to do one of my GCSEs, I started taking school more seriously. And uh, after this, I kind of stopped being a class clown, but even then, I still remained as like a popular person amongst certain friend groups. So I, I kind of went from hanging around with maybe the wrong people, and then going to hanging around with smarter people, coming up to my GCSEs, because I wanted to do well. But uh, even then, uh, this this phase in my life of talking, going up to people, talking to them, trying to be social and make people laugh, really made me a, a more popular or like well, well liked and known person in our school. And I just thought that that might be useful. Yeah, social networking, yeah. Yo, can you all hear me? Yep, yep. Ah, cool. I just thought you were going to speak or something. <laughs> no, 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 we're we're here to listen to what you have to say. Just yeah, yeah we're we're just here for It's you. crazy. It's crazy how many people there are. Facts, bro. Yeah. I haven't um, had this many people up here this consistent through the entire lecture for a while. It's funny because I didn't even know that there were uh, lectures. Like I just thought it was just like where they maybe like restreamed um Hamza's past live streams. Cause, like, I usually miss them. Mm. But yeah, this is sick, man. This it is like the coolest thing ever. So do you do all of these? Uh, no. I mean, I host um a few lectures. I mean, I, I also know that Miles hosts lectures every week. Hamza oh, does man. his every Wednesday, I think. Um, Jonah, I think might start doing some, but yeah, no, there's there's quite a few people that do lectures up here. Yeah, 
yeah but yeah i just felt like it'd be useful for me to come up here and support because um i've got school starting on wednesday so wish me luck i'm gonna try and talk to everyone new and uh hopefully uh improve my social circle wow. nice bro yeah no just don't overthink it bro it's it's not that uh complicated just go up to people everyone's gonna be anxious on the first day you know so if you're the person that's like talking to people and initiating they're gonna see you as the alpha male i don't like using that term but you know you'll be the yeah. alpha you'll be adonis yeah yeah 100 percent. i mean i've been hitting the gym and lifting Straight. taking a bit more uh yeah all right uh you can like hit me off or whatever right, in a bit bro. it was nice talking it was nice talking to you as well, man. Yeah. Thank you for getting on this list. So is Adon Adonis isn't no Adonis is an alpha male, but Adonis is a different breed of an alpha male. Adonis is Adonis. All right, uh, Colton. Let's get him up here. It's so hard because uh, to say the Adonis with the S at the end, because otherwise the microphone doesn't pick it up. So I can't really. Can't do the S's or you know what I'm saying. Uh Colton, are you here? Uh by the way, chill or chit. Uh whoever asks uh, where the lecture would be uploaded, uh there is a channel that I will post afterwards later down when it's uploaded. I can't talk. Ah that's tough, bro. Hi man. Well, whenever you're free to talk, uh if the lecture's still going on, I'll invite you up, but that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Okay. Oh wait, like you can you talk like you can't talk as in you can't come up on the stage or like what what do you mean? Invite to speak. I invited you up, maybe a little miscon yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the accept thing up there. Fuck's up, everybody. Uh, I've been so excited to talk to you all. Um, kind of just been listening and listening. It's uh nice to see everyone. Um, so I got a couple things to say. Mainly just places you can make friends or, you know, social interaction. And then I also have some points from a book that I read a little bit ago. Well, it was sent an audio book. It is uh, How to Win Friends That Influence People, probably one of the best books I have ever stumbled upon. It is so amazing and so profound. It is just amazing. All right, so um, there's a couple of things or a couple of places you can meet people. One would be volunteer work. Volunteering is great. Not people who are doing it for like schooling, but like people who just genuinely do it are some of the nicest people you will ever meet and some of the, like the best people you can be around. Um I did this one personally, going to dog parks. Uh if you have a dog, of course, this would be a great place for you to bring the dog and just interact with people. You don't really have an excuse um the gym yes the gym is amazing the gym is where you can meet probably the best people to be around if you're around fitness the most advice is shared there people who help you out with your form just making friends there all the time is just so beneficial um let's see if you like running if you can schedule a running get together with your friends have a bunch of people go and go on a run or biking. It, you, could, you could do both of those or any other sort of event, maybe swimming, get some people together and go. There's actually a couple apps to where you can meet new people and organize these events. I think one of them was called, I just downloaded this a little bit ago, Racefully. You, the fuck? Hold up. Yeah, you can invite people to your thingy, and then you can go on and run or bike. It's great. I'm actually thinking about using it. Um, if you work, you can meet people at your work. These, of course, this is like, like 
essential making friends at work because you don't want to go into work and then everyone hates you or you're just that one guy who no one fucking knows. And it'd be like, everyone, when you go into work, everyone's happy to see you. Maybe giving people more fulfilled work day. Then you have any sport. Any sport that you participate in, there will be people. Of course. <laughs> it doesn't matter what sport it is. Say you have, say you're like syntax and you are doing karate. I assume there is a bunch of people in your class that you can all talk together and help build each other up. Would you like to comment on that? Syntax. Oh, sorry. There's like six people in my intermediate class, so you know. Well, it's still people you can talk yeah, to. Yeah, no, there's like the thing is, you want to be talking to everyone around you, so. Yeah, even if it's like a few people, just just talk to them. You know, it's and, and, like you want to go to places that uh, you know there are gonna be people that are of high value. So I saw someone uh, say like going to a mall. I wouldn't say that's the best place to really make friends because people usually in malls aren't like the highest value. I'd say mm -hmm. places like like Barnes and Noble, like. If people are buying books, they're probably like of higher value than people in, like, in in the mall. You know what I'm saying? That's my two cents. All right. Um. Yeah. So you're on a football team or soccer team, or anything. I assume that most of us are are in the fourteen to eighteen range, teens, trying to be better. I don't I don't know if there's anybody who's like in the 20s or something but you have no excuse um unless your school does like competitive stuff but join the join a team join a soccer football any sport team because it keeps you active if you don't like going to the gym which is, I don't understand if you don't like going to the gym but if you don't like doing that find a way to stay fit and active for fun um so I believe Syntax said this earlier, but whenever you're talking to someone, become interested in the other person. You don't want to just go in there and you're talking to them just for the sense of a social interaction. Become interested in the person and what they're saying and what the topic is. Um, you need to smile as well. When you smile, just the whole mood of the place goes up or goes and makes it better if you know what I mean if anybody has experienced that uh, let's see being a good listener so instead of talking about yourself for like 20 minutes during the conversation let the other person talk and listen to them and what they like to say because you know people love talking about themselves <laughs> And this is what I've learned so far on my self-improvement is don't make it your main subject of talking point. Like, don't make it your main talking point. And the only thing you can really add value to the conversation is, oh, yeah, I read, I meditate, I do all this. Because chances are people don't, they probably don't care that much. So find something, like find a relatable topic and... Uh, and just talk about that. Even if you don't know about it, maybe ask some questions or so instead of being like, oh, yeah, I'm on self-improvement, bro. <laughs> NoFap? Yeah, that's me. That's me. I, 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 I am the NoFap king. Yeah. Yeah, what are you talking about? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't work out? You don't, you, you don't NoFap? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's, that's just shallow. I've, I've, the only thing that you're basing your personality off of is just – just like the self improvement things, it's it's like <laughs> it's it's like it's so fucking boring. I wouldn't want to talk to someone who's just like spewing that in my face all the time. But I hope you guys found value in um what I've said so far. No, you said some fucking bars. Is there anything man. else you'd want to ask me, Syntax? I mean. I can, I know you, like, I remember a while back, you said on your first day of school, you were, like, polarizing oh, people. Oh, dude, were, 
just interest, remembered yeah. that. I would love to yeah. talk about that. So, yeah, I so, want to hear about that. Um, so basically, before school started in the summer, I figured this is my this is my senior year. I can't let this be like the past years. I don't know if anybody else's schooling is like this, but because of COVID and the coronavirus, no one fucking talks anymore. It's just a class full of silent people on their phones. It, that might not be everyone else's experience, but that's mine. I I literally did not let that happen. I Before school started, I, li- I told myself, I was like, that's not fucking happening. That's not happening. The first day, my first period class is a Spanish class, right? I don't fucking know Spanish. <laughs> I don't know Spanish at all. But I was engaging with the teacher and talking out loud, and I was the only one doing it, the only one answering the questions to the point where the teacher was like, okay, you can't, you, you can't ask any more questions. Like, like you can't, you can't talk anymore. Um, and then as the day went on, I was making friends with everyone. And then, you know, it really isn't too hard. I made friends with every single, like, I made friends with everyone that I saw and that was near me. Um, it, it really, once you get and you do it, you know, that, 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 that feeling you get, that anxious feeling before, it's just gone. Don't think about it as, oh, I'm, 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 I'm talking to people. Oh, be in the mood, like be in the fucking moment. And that's where meditation comes in. But anyways. um, Yeah, I think I'm about done. Unless you have any more questions. No, bro, you basically covered it. That was great. Like just tips on to, to like... be a better reader. Um, well, it depends. I I like listening to audiobooks better because I interpret the information better, and it's just it's just more convenient. Like I can do anything while having an audiobook going on. I that's how I did the how to win friends with influence people. Where do you do it? Audible. Oh, um, I have an iPhone. I don't know if you do, but the books app. I can use, I've just bought the books on the books app and it plays for you, but, um, I would just research into apps that you can use. Just go on Google, find best audiobook app. I mean, I'm pretty sure you, um, you can download that's, oh, that's, videos, right? That's, okay. yeah, yeah, there also is free audiobooks on yeah. YouTube, like Cabbage said, but, um, Sorry. Yeah. I just completely lost my fucking train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's on that's only if you feel that you you are better interpreting the information through um listening. That's just how I am. You may be better when you're just reading. Bars. But um All right. I right. think that's about done. Thanks for coming out for you, Colton. All right, see y'all. See you, bro. Whew, okay, well, uh, let's see. How long has the lecture been going? One hour and 18 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to get one more person up here, and then I'll answer um, questions you guys have about whether it be fitness, social networking. Like, it Just ask whatever question you want. So let's see. Raise your hand if you want to talk. I'll just, I will pick um, cult members before Jeffries. So that's your inspiration to join the cult. All right. Chicken, I know you've been waiting. So I uh, passed the launcher question after uh, Chicken Talk. I want to answer questions. All right, How boys. Doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We're talking about social skills, okay? I mean, this is my first time talking in here, but let's go. Right. I mean, college is coming up in a few days, so, I mean, if you're in that 14 to 17, 18 range, it's kind of important you start learning at this age. Like, I'm 17, but I, I think, like, currently I'm doing pretty good with my social skills. I'm not, like, some mega womanizer who gets everyone, but... You kind of have to just find your own path, to be honest, and start slow. 
if you're someone that's kept to yourself all the time and things like that, you you want to start off slow. You don't want to be like talking to everyone and just embarrass yourself. But at the same time, it is a learning experience, to be honest. Like, you, sometimes you, just have, you actually just have to get out there and find your own path. Like, it's not bad to just go to like a park or like an event where people are at, like a social place. Like, well, I live in London, but all across London, there's parks and everything where everybody meets. So maybe if you have a couple friends, one day you could just say to them, oh, hey, look, there's a motive. How are we going? Enjoy some time or like meet up or whatever. Expect find your own path sounds a bit, a bit brief, but I mean, it is your own path, but it really is your own path. You have to be your own base and everything. But yeah, I didn't really have many, many points to say, except you really don't want to be embarrassing yourself. And if you're going to like a college nowadays, you're going to find friends regardless. People will be, will be there. It's just on the first like week, it's going to be quite a lonely experience unless you go out to people and be like, oh, and start making conversation or anything. But even small talk, it, it might sound a bit cringe, but just asking people how their days are going or giving little compliments now and then it can one make someone's day but you could end up becoming friends with them or learning about someone so that's that's a good thing to do i mean i have college in like five days five ten days but i know when i get to college i'm going to see quite a few of my mates that i made last year and hopefully i'm probably going to make some more some like more friends or whatever but even like during this summer when when you go out or whatever you need to have really really good communication skills if you're the one that sits around like head down no one's really going to come and talk to you and that's quite evident <clears throat> it's like the like last week i went to a music festival and it was like a group of like 15 of us and there was someone she was she was a sweet person but she didn't talk the entire time her head was down just looking on her phone, anything, and no one really talk, really, no one really talked to her unless you actually like went up to her and talked to her to like comfort her or anything. You kind of have to be up there and out and social, social about it, you know. But yeah, having an open body language is important because nobody wants to talk to the person that has their head facing downwards, looking at their phone or. Or just look exactly, away. exactly. Like, like I said before, you need to just have your chest up, look up, be smiling, talk to people. People will come up to you just by having a good posture, good smile. People will automatically like be positive towards you. And no one's going to be negative towards you. So, yeah. Sorry if you hear music in the back. Oh, but we can't. I did. Oh, okay, good, I good. Pitch me, but, but, but yeah, no one. Th one thing I can say is like, I like the point about like going to events that you like. Like, if you're playing basketball, you'll be more inclined to talk to other people playing basketball because you have a shared interest. Exactly. You really don't want to be forcing yourself to do something that you don't want to do, or something that just because you want to fit in, fit in with a certain like group. I. Like on this server, I might not be like cult member or whatever, but I've seen enough people having these sort of set like mindset they have to be like this certain like social rank or whatever. It's not like that. It, it, that's cre creating a comparison game, and life isn't about comparisons. You need to be in your own your own lane with your own friends, not forcing some some trashy narrative that you have to be some straight goddess, god or goddess that has so many so many friends and so many friendship groups like it's really not like that well, yeah well i mean yeah what you're, what what are you saying is facts like being open having the good body language not being not don't like don't force yourself to do something you don't want to do and you'll be able to socialize much easier when you're doing something you enjoy like if you're again like something like i like i like playing basketball if i'm in a 
flow state in basketball or I'm just enjoying myself, I'll be more open to talk to people like while playing with them. Exactly. That is that is so true. And I said, I think during my teen years, I, I'm a water polo player, but so many of my friends I met through water polo and there's so many different things a part of my life that I've that I've made certain friendship friendship groups and friends because of the certain interest I have, like my music. My music has made me so many different friends. My sport has made me so many different friends. Like gaming is I I have like four or five different like worlds but it's all like interconnected i can make that balance between look i have this school work that i need to do but i also want to spend time with like socializing and everything and i guess that's what i've that's summer is your time it's like during how am i going to say this like 365 days you're going to spend quite a lot of it studying or whatever you kind of need to get your grades up but you also need to simultaneously balance yourself between going out and shit. I think I might have let it slip a bit this summer, though. I kind of didn't. I kind of didn't uh, like do tons and tons of work, but like I was only going out. But <clears throat> I kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. Then I don't know what I was on about. Oh man, you dropped <laughs> a lot of knowledge on us. Don't worry. You should, where should I go out with friends to build my social circle? Well, okay, I live in London. And like I said, there's a lot of parks, like, I don't know, from the south. So there's, like, Wandsworth Common, Wimbledon. But, like, anywhere. If you have a few if you have a few friends, just say one day. Or, like, make a Snapchat group and be like, okay, tomorrow, 4 o'clock, come to the park. Bring mates or whatever. And that's how things start when you start having like loads tons of like people to be around you <laughs> you can just socialize from there but i know there's a lot of people that get that have like social anxiety or whatever and get kind of agitated when there's a lot of like groups around you but that also is a sign that you kind of need to make like specific friends that you know like can support you well like properly or be or be like there for you when Maybe you're having like a little breakdown or a shaky moment. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, if you have nothing else to share, do you have any, or do you want to ask, say anything else? Or? Nah, I don't have anything much to say. Bro, but yeah, no, I'm going to start answering a few questions and, bro, but it, it was amazing having you up here. You like, said some things that like nobody really touched on and i appreciate that bro come on in a couple of years when some other people get their social skills up they'll probably have way more deeper content than me but everyone will get to a certain stage where they can freely talk about their own experiences and things like that Definitely, bro. we're all gonna make it boys we're all gonna make it exactly it's a journey it's coming it's coming Yes, sir. Thanks for having me on. Thanks for joining, bro. Yeah, man. All right. See you. See you, bro. Wait, how do I leave? Uh, I'm gonna be back, man. Bye, bye. Oh. Uh, hi, boys. Uh, I'm gonna answer questions now, but yeah, appreciate everyone who came up here and and like just yeah, bro. That takes a lot of confidence to just come up here, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, chicken. But yeah, drop your questions and, and I'll answer them for about 15 minutes and then I think I'll go. Uh, I mean, Quincy, just talk to him, bro. Like, you don't have to. Don't feel forced to do something you don't want to do. Just if if you need to talk to him or just don't like just like if he in invites you to a birthday party, just say no. I I know uh Hamza's video on the art of rejecting is a is something that could probably help you out there. Uh, let's see. 
messaging a girl right now. What's one thing I should tell her right now, boys? Ask her to link, bro. How to start off working out. It depends what or where you're at right now. If you have access to a gym, uh, there's a lot, a lot of routines online that are free that you could use to start you off. But if you're at home, again, calisthenics. Like, find a routine that you can use, obviously for beginners. But yeah, just, just go, just start. You don't need to have some routine built by like, uh, Jeff Nippard, like, you just start, start, start practicing stuff, say you've already fucked up your social life by being awkward at school like a dumbass, how do you fix it up, well, look, uh, for example, last summer when I was in school, I used to be an obnoxious little, I'm gonna avoid swearing, but I was obnoxious as hell, uh, I was annoying, but when I came into, to school this, uh, this year, nobody, nobody remember that, literally nobody cared, but go in with a new attitude, new mindset, if it's, like, during the school year, and, and, I mean, like, look, being awkward isn't that serious, if you, like, suddenly start opening up, I don't, I don't think it's a big deal, just, just start talking to people, let's see, Are bars a good place to invite random people you met and friends? Uh, I can't really speak on that because I'm 17 and I don't drink. So, yeah, but invite uh, bars can be a good place. Just anywhere that you can be social. Maybe a place like uh, an event that you'd enjoy. Just anywhere like you, you, could, you feel you'd enjoy yourself and they would enjoy themselves. Where can uh, I meet new people if I'm 16, apart from high school? Well, uh, join a soccer team, a basketball team, join clubs, volunteer. I mean, Colton dropped a lot of good locations, libraries, uh, at parks. There's a lot of places you can uh, meet people. What else? Any other questions? Let's see. So do you just walk up to anyone and say hi? I mean, yeah, like, just, just go up to them and say, what's up? Or just ask them how their day was. It's not too complicated, though. Uh, as far as working out is concerned, do overcoming isometrics work? As in, like, you... Like, I don't understand what overcoming isometrics work, but I, I know isometrics are good for, like, prepping for... Like, like building a base. A lot of programs for vertical jumping start with isometrics. So, I know. I mean, that it can be a good tool. But personally, I don't use too many isometrics. Let's see. Any other questions? You know, I just realized that uh, my OBS probably doesn't have my, my mic muted. So, even if I'm muted on Discord, people will still hear me eating. So, I'll, I just want to... Say sorry for that. <laughs> uh, any workout? Is this being recorded, by the way? Yeah, it's it's, it's going to be posted on uh, the Cult Lecture YouTube channel. I think it might be pinned. Uh, yeah, it's pinned. It, the uh, If you look at the pinned messages, uh, Miles posted the link, so it'll be posted on that. But, yeah. Uh, in, the f in the future, yeah, I know... Okay, yeah, it'll be it'll be posted. Don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, I know in the future I'm probably gonna do um, more lectures to to the topic of fitness. So I'm just more knowledgeable there. I feel like I can uh, bring more energy to that uh, side of there. But yeah, thank you for subscribing, Ashraf. Appreciate it, bro. Making it a podcast would be awesome. Yeah, look, I mean, I think a podcast would be better because you can also have guests on. You can have uh, the camera on so there's more visuals. Uh, it can probably be more engaging if it's a podcast format. So, you know, I might I might have it like that. But again, like these it, these uh, lecture stages are so unique, right? You can't invite random like as many people up onto podcasts. Well, I mean, I guess you could, but you'd have to format it a bit different. But 
yeah. I mean, I might, I'll consider the podcast, dude. That's a good, good idea. Do you meditate regularly? Yeah, I meditate every day. What's the YouTube channel name? Check the uh, pin messages. Here, I'll just post the link. So it's probably better. Uh, I'll, I can't post the link right now because I'll have to tab out and do a bunch of stuff. But I'll, uh, I'll post the YouTube channel name uh, after the lecture is completed. If I would go to the... If... Probably shouldn't just go to the... Um, it, look, I mean, if, if your gym is, that's close to you, doesn't have a lot of, like, again, look, you don't need to go to a further gym and like compromise your schedule just to meet new people. Like there's a lot of places that you can go to meet people. It doesn't have to be the gym. Thank you, Ashraf, for the plug, bro. Uh, if there is no further questions, I'll just wrap this up, but yeah. Give it like a couple minutes, but yeah. Or other than that, like it's been great, guys. I can just summarize a few things to to say for the uh, for social networking. Just be yourself. Like, don't overcomplicate it. Just initiate conversations. Go up to people. Go to places that you enjoy. Go have open body language. Improve your social skills. Yeah, chicken, bro. Become a call member, man. There's a lot of value. Like, there's a lot of channels that you can find value in. Like, there's a fitness channel, no fab channel, success stories, mature discussion. There's a lot of channels that can help. Uh, wow, you guys posted a lot of questions, man. What do you do if you live in a small time? To, oh, Jesus Christ! Live in a small time. It's, oh, it's fuck's sake, bro. I'm tweaking, bro. Live in a small town and most of the kids your age are assholes. Well, I don't think every single person in your city is an asshole. So, if you need to, make friends with adults, bro. Make friends with older people. I I don't know how young you are, but a lot of people younger aren't as mature. So, if you need to, like, engage with older folk. What's a good start to improving them? Uh, improving what, Heat Mix? How to improve body language? <sighs> I mean, all I can say is just don't be hunched over and don't, like, be staring at the floor. Be open. Walk with a straight back. Like, keep your chin up. Don't be looking at the ground. Anyone you would say that is worth emulating in terms of social skills? Don't emulate behavior. Just be yourself, bro. I'm grateful for you hosting the lecture and letting me come on first. Yeah, bro. Uh, anytime, man. You, you always have great information to share, so you're always first to come up, man. And yeah, the podcast might be the option. Uh, let's see. Improving social skills, my bad. No, you're good. Um... Well, there's a lot, like, if you want to, like, here, I'll give you, like, the the basic plan. I know Hamza has a video on this, but I'll give you his, his basic two cents on it. So, basically, if you're a person that's basically inside all day, what you're going to want to do is you're going to start by just taking walks daily. Over time, you're going to be able to build the habit of going outside. And, over, like, when you're, when you built that habit, you can start giving people eye contact over time, that'll build your confidence to be able to look people in their eyes. Then you can start saying hello or smiling to them. Again, it's, it's just like a few steps, but like you'll be able to smile at them, say hi after that. And eventually you'll get to a stage where you can literally just talk to them. You say like, how's your day? You just ask them how they're doing type of stuff. Like uh, if you're interested in the video, I think it's... um. Uh, how to build your own tribe or something. That was a great video. If my buddies at school smoke weed, should I try to find new friends because I don't smoke weed? It depends if they're like, I mean, I'd say try to find a group of people that's sim similar to you, like has similar values to you. 
because you're the average of the five people uh, you spend close to, like you're closest to with. So if you don't like that behavior, you don't have to cut them off. But yeah, find better people to hang around with. But yeah. Syntax though, will you add or talk since you use the channel? Yeah, no, the, basically the entire lecture is recorded. So it's not like I'm going to edit everything out. It's going to have everyone talking and you guys are all going to be in there. Like it, it has a chat up here as well. So uh, let's see. No problem, David. How do I find better people to hang with? Well, uh, again, going to places that you know there are going to be better people. Like, I mean, in this Discord, this is a great place to meet people. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be realistic to meet with uh, the people from the Discord online, or like in person, but places like sports teams, clubs, volunteering places. Like, again, like Colton dropped some great places, but... Library is a great spot because people are there to learn. So it's a good area to find people. Any other questions? Any other questions? What is the most important tip to make internet friends? Initiating conversations, bro. Like being able to just go and DM someone like and then compliment them saying like, oh, I liked um, what you said here. Like, you, for example, in the fitness channel, someone answered your question or, or said something like that you liked you can tell them like yo or dm them or something and saying like oh i like what you said about xyz and then ask them if they want to speak about it and then that's that's one we basically just need to initiate can i hop on the mic for like two seconds i will allow it Drop some bars. Just put your hand up or maybe I can invite you. If I can find you. There you go. Let me invite you. Hmm. I invited you by the way, I think. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, hello. How I'm you? back. So someone someone was saying how does he find better people to hang with? Again, if you have a few mates or whatever, you can just ask. No, not ask. Don't don't be a beg and say like, "Oh, can I be invited?" But you can just say, "Look, I'm having a bad time with these guys. I'm not really comfortable around them." And then, if they're a good enough person, they'll probably be like, "Okay, look, you can come hang around with me or whatever." And another thing with making friends, right? You can be friends with whoever you want. Like genuinely, my best mate in the entire world. I'm not even joking that I, I met her on Apex Legends. Like, she was a random teammate that I met, and somehow she ended up living, like, 20 minutes from me, and she's meant, like, the most... To, she's meant the most to me that any other person in the world has ever, like, been to me. She's been, like, my best friend for, like, two almost two years now. But you can be mates with whoever you want, but you kind of need to just figure out who you can trust and who is... Like actual, like actually, like real people. Like, Discord is such a good place for finding, like, mates. This every server is like a new set of a new set of life. You get what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. if you're in like I don't know fifty fifty Discord server servers, there's gonna be like a little community in every like single one of new people that you can meet. Okay, it's a bit risky because there's gonna be them like Pablo, pervs, and simps and stuff like that, but literally this is your like social playground i guess like online and then when you're in real life you can do your, all of your in real life stuff if you want to go meet someone that you've been like i don't know playing rainbow six with for like a year like go and do it just don't get yourself killed but i mean you should really just fuck it man just do it if you have a friend that you want to see do it anyway yeah Yep. That, that, that was it thank you I'm, I'm just gonna move you back but yeah thank you for um for sharing that i just say be careful um if you're gonna meet someone from online be careful because there's it, it's quite dangerous to just invite random people that you don't know to meet up in person so i personally am probably not going to do something like that but 
um, just yeah, stay safe. If you if you're gonna use it like how I'm using it, just use it to talk to people. But yeah, um, as Nahyung was saying, uh, I probably I mean I might host another lecture sometime either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because I've uh holidays that, those days because you know just get one out real fast but i'm probably gonna host a lecture with god king about nofap uh and semen retention so yep but probably not tomorrow or but i don't know I'll, I'll i'll send a message into the lecture chat if it's gonna happen though i'll uh i'll let you guys know all right any other quick questions? Cause I just I'll wrap it up otherwise. Uh, let's see. Any advice to motivate yourself better? Well, I know Pablo and Jonah does this, but like you can create a a wall of of like texts and images on your on your like desk space that like. For example, what they do is they have quotes like, you know, I don't know the quotes, but they basically have quotes like motivational quotes on their wall that they can read at like any time. That's one way to motivate yourself better. Also, you could find a goal to work, like that you really want to achieve. So, yeah. Is it worth shooting your shot in a gym if it's your happy place? Yes, it's fine to approach people in the gym. I'd say just don't approach them mid-set because nobody wants that. If they're off their set, they're just um like resting. It's fine to approach them. That's that's not bad. Um, I'll answer one more good question, and then I'm gonna wrap it up. But yeah, uh, as Quincy said, easy peasy method, literally amazing, amazing book. All right, one more question. Wow. Yeah, I think I think um I probably won't do another lecture on social skills or anything social based cuz like there's so, like we've done at least 3 on this topic already, so it's kind of it's kind of hard to say anything new about the topic like I might make a YouTube video on on the topic just giving you like an ultimate guide to do so but again there's not much more to say other than what we've said so far like there's a there's probably a few more tidbits of advice but again we've given you the main points and there's yeah there's nothing much to say i'll probably be diving into different topics i'll be talking about things like ma mainly fitness and health related content but I'd be probably talking about like habits, mental health, again, fitness, but yeah. Thank you, Victory. Like, I, I mean, I'm really passionate about fitness, so I think that'd probably be the most interesting lectures for you guys because I will have more energy on this topic. Thank you, Pog. It's love, bro. And I hope you have a good day, too. All right. Yeah, I, one last thing to say, if uh, if you're a Jeffrey or have a Jeffrey role, become cult member and look, there's again, there's so much value, like I can't even begin to explain in the in the full cult, like there's so much stuff, like I'll just list you off the channels right now. Cult general, there's just so many people that are knowledgeable there, like what I can say is like a lot of the people that have the most knowledge aren't really active in the Jeffrey channel. Like I know I'm not um, in there quite often. Like I'm very infrequently in the Jeffrey channel. Cult general, there's relationships, fitness, uh, progress picks, no fat. There's a bunch of channels in here that are, that are really important for your journey. Thank you, Quincy. I hope you have a good one too, but yep. That's, um, that's all for today, boys. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day. But yeah, thank you for coming out, guys. It's been real. It's been love.